vintage clothing from my local thrift stores. Right over here, toilet mug. So I got my tea, let's get started. You know, I was married once, well I'm married now, but I was married to my first, I'll call him my starter husband, <laughs> my starter ex-husband now, and um, he was a very interesting person, not a very nice person, and one of the things he would say he hated about me, and he would like get on me about all the time, and like one time I found this journal. It was after I found out all the bad things about him that he was doing and I was getting ready to leave and I found the journal that he was keeping. It was in like a regular notebook and I think I was looking for a piece of paper and I found and he made this list of like five things that he hated about me and this was on the list. Are you ready? That was it. He would get on me all the time about slurping my tea. Like he would rage at me because I slurp my tea when it's hot. Okay, all right. And there was like the other four things were really just really trivial and stupid little little nitpicky things and I'm thinking to myself like what are the bad things? Like where's the bad stuff? Like cheats on me. <laughs> Spends all my money. <laughs> has a shopping problem. For whatever reason, the slurping of the tea has stuck with me, like, and I just find it hilariously funny. And fun story, um, when I was dating my now husband, I was this, I think it was like our second date. We were at a diner and we were having, um, he was having his coffee. Hi, my ca Captain Gus here, you see his tail. He was having his coffee and he sat across from me and all of a sudden he took a sip. It was really hot and his first sip was this. And that was when I knew I loved him. I mean, I think I started laughing. I was sitting over on the other side of the booth and I was like laughing. And he was probably like, what's wrong with this woman? She's nuts. You just know that. I knew right away. I'm like, we're like two peas in a pod. This is going to be the perfect, <laughs> the perfect relationship for me because we both slurp our hot beverages when we drink. I'm not sad. This is going to be like a two hour video if I don't shut up and just get, get on with it. Let's look at the vintage that I found during my weekly thrift trip to the thrift stores in my area. This is a fun week. I got some good stuff. I left all the tags on them so you can kind of get an idea of what the prices are on my vintage clothing that I'm picking up in my area. I spent a total of, let me see, what did I spend? All right, I went to Salvation Army and I went to Goodwill and together I spent a total of $95, I think in like a couple cents there. Um, so if you round up, I think I got 23 items. So if you divide that into the $95, you're looking at maybe $4 and a couple cents per item. So that first up, I found three vintage 1950s cotton house dresses from, um, and they're plus sizes. So they are in um, a great size. They need a little work to them because a lot of times when you find the vintage 50s and 40s things, they're gonna be items that need a little bit of work. You don't get perfect vintage in those eras really any longer unless you're buying strictly from somebody's collection and they probably already took care of any issues with the clothing. So first up is this really adorable red and white polka dot house dress. It's cotton, it's not been worn, it's still crisp. I don't think it was ever worn or washed or used. Um, it's just adorable. It's got these beautiful like lace trim on the pockets and this is just a popover. There's no zipper, there's no buttons on it. It's just an easy little popover. So this was priced on a normal day at $3.99, but I paid half off, so that would have been $2. So that's perfect for me price point wise. That's what I like to get my clothing around is the $2 to $3 mark for my cost of goods, right? 
This was $3.99. This is another one, um, cotton house dress. This one's adorable. It has um, yellow, there we go, yellow embroidered flowers on the pocket, and it's got adorable yellow buttons. And then yellow rickrack around it. It still has the original belt to it, but it's missing the buckle on it. So I'm gonna have to go through my vintage sewing stash and see if I can find a cute little yellow buckle to put on that, or just maybe a black one or a white one if I can't find that. This one has some condition issues. I have to go in and fix the pockets. So I gotta do a little work on this, but this was also like what I said, $2. So that one was $2 also. The last little cotton house dress that I found from the 50s is this little blue number. This one buttons up like three fourths up the front. This was actually 99 cents. So I paid 50 cents for it on half off day. This one has some staining on it. So 50 cents, I can try and see if I can get the staining out. If I can't get the staining out, I might then try to dye it. So 50 cents was a really great deal for me for um, a piece of vintage that needs a lot of work to it that might not be able to remove the stains from. So very cute little dress there. Moving on to the 1970s. Paid $2.50 for this little 70s number. Turquoise, great color, pleated accordion skirt to it, ruffled tie sleeves, a ruffled um, tie neckline collar to it, just polyester, perfect condition, no problems with that one. I found this really awesome. It's probably a polyester wool blend because it doesn't feel like complete wool, but it's a great plaid maxi skirt. It has what I love to find, it still has the original tie waist belt to it. I mean, those that's rare. They get missing all the time. So this is was fun. This was a fun pickup for me. I paid $4 for this one. In 1970s negligee kind of pajama top to it. It's got elastic and they're still good on the sleeves. But this is absolutely adorable. Paid $4 for this at Salvation Army. I try to look for 90s t-shirts. They are harder to find out there in the thrift stores because, you know, it's a huge vintage t-shirt, like sweatshirt, kind of streetwear market, and people actually will just go out and source just for that alone. So I was happy to find this little, it's probably a 90s, okay, you gotta go. Like, I'm gonna lose an eye. And it's just not worth it. I would say late 90s, Y2K on this. It's got that baby doll cut on it. And this is um, the Bunny Ranch, the Moonlight Bunny Ranch. Um, it's a cat house, a brothel out there in, in Nevada. I grabbed this vintage late 90s CBGB shirt. CBGB's isn't around any longer. Um, but this will probably go for me. It'll be something that I wear. So, and I pay three dollars for this vintage t-shirt. This will go in my collection. 1980s dress. I got this for the style because I really dig this fringed kind of neckline. This almost like a cow neck going on. And it's got these dolman bat wing sleeves, which is great. It also has the original belt to it. And it's a knit and it's just, it's got, it's got some Southwestern vibes going on. So it was more of the style. The label is just Stuart Allen. It's not like a huge popular label or anything. I picked it up for the style and I paid $2.50. Picked this really cute pastel sweater up. I paid $2.50 for this. And this one has a flaw on it. But I think it's gonna be a flaw I'm going to be able to fix. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, here it is. So it's got some crochet stitching that came undone right, right there. So I'm gonna get my needle out, my crochet needle, and see if I can rehook everything and fix that. I think it's gonna be an easy fix. If not, it's like $2.50 that I am taking a risk on. So that's not awful. Found a great men's 1970s shirt, button up, polyester, got a fun print on it. You got the dagger collars going on. 
So polyester shirts are becoming popular with that dagger collar. I think the fun, the more fun prints you can get in the polyester shirts, um, the more popular they are going to be. Another classic men's jacket. This is probably from the 80s, but this is what I will call a grandpa jacket. Zipper front, you got the pointy collar going on. So this is probably seven, late 70s or 80s. Nice lightweight grandpa jacket that really has never been, it doesn't seem like it's been worn. On to sweatshirts. I like to pick up sweatshirts when I get a chance. I mean, there's a lot of competition for sweatshirts nowadays. I found this at my Goodwill for $5.75. This is a vintage writer, so this is a Lee sweatshirt. Vintage plain sweatshirts do sell. People like them. People love just a plain old sweatshirt. It, it's not a high dollar selling item, but I have sold a lot of just plain, basic, vintage sweatshirts over the years, so I always pick them up for myself. I paid $5.75 for this. Um, this is probably from the 80s or 90s, and it's got some grease spots on it. I have to put some Dawn on there and some little mix of whatever, but I'm sure I can get that out. Let's get on into Grandma Core. Grandma Core sweatshirt here. This is so grandma style. Um, this is probably from the 80s or 90s. It's a button front cardigan, and this is by Bonnie Evans. I always like to pick up uh, vintage Bonnie Evans things. She did a lot of sweatshirt embroidery that your grandmas would wear in the 80s and 90s. And this one is just beautiful. It's got the double collar going on, and I have sold a lot of these. 575. So another grandma core sweatshirt with embroidered butterflies on it. I think I paid $5.75 for that also. Yep, pay $5.75 for that. Um, 90s University sweatshirt. This is by Gear for Sports. This is their big cotton sweatshirt. And this is a university where I live, Bloomsburg University. It is a size medium. It's got that nice oversized fit. And I think I paid $5.75. $5.75 for this thing. Another grandma core sweatshirt. Here you go. It's got embroidered butterflies on it. Um, it is a petite small, but I still think that somebody could rock this who is just a regular small and it would be just kind of a crop fit for them. Starting to look at picking up vintage denim shorts for the season. I don't know how well they're going to do. We will see. But you know, it's like one of those categories that I want to keep stocked in my shop. So these are just Ralph Lauren polo shorts and these are probably from the 90s. Um, they are the Saturday, Saturday jean. So not high return value, but what I love about these are the fact that the patina on them is perfect. They got a little bit of wear down here on their seam. They're super soft. They almost have like a baggy boyfriend fit to them. So I thought, oh, I'm going to give these a go. And I picked these up and I paid, let's see what I paid for them. Tags in here. $5.29. So $5.29 for a vintage pair of jeans. Like shorts. Jean shorts. And I picked these amazing. I love these. Um, <laughs> I don't know if they're going to be a high return or not. I'll have to do some. Okay, my camera just died. So I'm going to finish up with my cell phone. So your sound's probably not going to be as good. And the picture quality is not going to be as good. But I'm going to finish up quick. So let's get to it. So I found these, I was talking about these really awesome Stefano jeans, probably late 80s, early 90s, tie-dye kind of dipped bottom to them, great condition, they're new with tags, they are plus size 16, so I really wanted to pick these up, so I paid up for these at $7.29. So that's how much my Goodwill had marked these up to, but I think these are great, and I think these will flip fast when spring and summer comes around, and um, yeah, I really wanted to be able to offer these in my closet. One of my favorite finds from my time at the thrift store was finding this. Nope, that's not it. Finding the matching skirt to that awesome vintage 70s set that I picked up the other week. 
So this was there waiting for me. I paid $4.99. No, I paid $2.50 because it was half off. So I paid $2.50 and I now have the whole freaking set of amazing 70s suit with the maxi skirt, the pants, and the top jacket shirt all together. So that was my favorite find. That was my favorite thing I found in my thrift my thrift journey this week. I also picked up this really beautiful Land's End. This was made in Scotland and it's a little vintage kilt skirt, probably from the 1980s. But I really love this because it still has the original um, pin down here at the bottom on the skirt. So that was cute find. And I paid, how much did I pay for that? I picked that up at Goodwill. So I know I paid a little more for that. I paid $4.50 for that skirt. So that wasn't so bad. Check out this awesome tote bag I picked up at Salvation Army. This was half off for, at $3. And I bet this is probably a handmade piece. But I just love the little duck detail on the front. Um, probably definitely from the 70s or 80s on that one. So cute. At Salvation Army, I picked up these leather boots. I don't know much about shoes, but these are 100% leather. The only thing I can tell about these right now is that they were made in Canada. I'm gonna have to get my magnifying glass out to see if I can figure out the name and the maker of these boots. Um, you know, I know they're vintage, I know they're older. It's been stamped on the inside, but because of wear, they've been rubbed a little bit, so it's a little bit hard for me to see the maker of the boots. But these are just, I really love these. The styles of like the kilties were very popular um, a few years ago. So I have to look and see if these are still a popular thing for people to pick up. But they do have the kilty front on them and they have the leather bottom on them. I paid $7.99 for these. I'm not sure if these were on half off day, if this was a half off or not. I'd have to go look at my tag. So I'm taking a little bit of a chance with these. I have to clean them up a bit. Um, they are a size nine. So I'm not sure if they're a nine in women's or a nine in men's. So I'll, I have a little bit more of an investigation to do with those boots. And the bonus for this week is this amazing crochet 1970s set. Did not find this on this outing, but I found it in a local thrift store recently. Um, this beautiful crochet knit set was waiting for me. So this is, I think you're gonna need to be pretty tall to wear these. Um, tall and they are a larger size. Like I could probably wear this top as a, a mini dress and <laughs> But I think this would look really great on the right person. Um, I did pay up for this. I paid close to $20 for this set. It was like, I knew I had to have it. It's so adorable. So, <laughs> yep, pick that up. All right, the end of my video. I'm going to stop right here. Are you okay? You don't look like you're okay. What's the matter? Why don't you go sit in the sunshine? Are you hungry? Oh my gosh. Are you hungry? Okay. You're hungry. Oh, you're always hungry. Oh, you're always hungry. He's always hungry. 21 and always hungry.